So. <laughs> well. Weather's arrived. And so have the Colombians. <laughs> Wet all day today, stage Irish one. Irish weather, mate. Irish uh, weather. It's properly grim, isn't it? Matt's um, looking at it, that's how you dress if you're Australian when it's wet. <laughs> no, come on, lads. First first, uh, first stage, who's going to take the win? Let's see if we're right. Primoz Rogmich. Primoz Rogmich. Shane. Uh, Naira Quintana. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> this is last night in the podcast as well. go we caught the guys decaling up uh, Steve Cummins bike yesterday let's have a look at the finished product okay we're here with Chad from Mavic you obviously sponsor the Cannondale team yes. and the AG2R team yes. what's new what's going on uh, well, with the teams, uh, I think you've already probably seen some of the some of the options they have with different wheels. Some guys are riding clincher, some guys are riding tubular. So it's it's definitely an interesting time seeing what people are doing and what they're choosing to use. Uh, so that's that's definitely something new. And I think you've probably seen the neutral support bikes. Yeah, what's going yeah. on there? You've got a dropper post. Yeah. So uh, we. We had an issue last year with Chris Froome, I, it's not a secret, so we wanted to take some steps to make sure that we're, we're continuing to evolve our, our system. So uh, we've got a new bike with a dropper post with 65 millimeters of travel, so they can adjust the saddle height on the fly. And then we're also accommodating all the most popular pedal types. So we'll have six bikes on the roof and we'll have Shimano speed play, time, and look pedal options. So really all we have to do is grab the right bike with the right pedals, and then we can adjust the saddle height on the fly. Awesome, so there yeah. won't be any situations like, was it Jens Voigt a few years ago was riding like a, <laughs> a 48 when he yeah, yeah, ride yeah. a 61 or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, if Jens was still racing, maybe we'd still give him the small bike just because it's funny, but yeah, we don't want that to happen again. Have you finished eating? Not really, but go ahead anyway. <laughs> right, here we go. Another face from uh, Cycling Tips. Mr. Christoph Ramon. Right, this year you're with this team, aren't you? He's hanging out with... Uh... Yeah, actually I'll, I'll, I'll be hanging out with two teams. I'll, I'll be staying with this team. I'll be close with another Australian team as well. So Working there's closely. only one Australian team, Oh, there? is there? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, that one there. Nice, so you've been... We should be getting some really good photos from both of them. That should be possible. Behind yeah. the scenes stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's the idea. Contador putting his chamois cream on. Maybe, Maybe not. not that close. Maybe not that close. No. Oh, here we are. He's yeah, even yeah, bought yeah. his bike. Look at this. You yeah. need a bike to get around here. Yeah, don't yeah, you? yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, then, stylish for the better. But it's not a Trek or a Scott. It's my bike. It's personalised. Okay, as we said, we're going to bring you all the faces that are behind cycling tips, whether it's us, whether it's contributors, like Jakob here. You're from Poland, yeah? Yes, I'm from Poland. Okay, and Jakob's working. Just give us a little thing. It's top secret, isn't it? Yeah, it's top secret story from the 70s, from the midst of communist times. So 
Just wait for it and during the Tour de Pologne you will see the very cool story, unknown for everybody. You've been working on it for how long? All right, now it will be almost two years. So it's a really big investigation going on. Stay tuned. He's just told me about it and it's wow. Let's get ready. Day stage two. This is going to be a good test for the sea sucker cobbles. Do you realise if it flies off the roof, we're going to go, now you see, sucker. <laughs> that's, that's a dodgy one. This is the village. We'll be showing you around here at a later date. This is the place to be, right behind us here. Food stand, get some breakfast, a couple of cheeky snacks, get the day started on the right foot. Have you not had Becky yet? Yeah, breakfast number two. Best breakfast. Oh, there we go. We've got, look at this is part of the family, part of the cycling tips family. Awesome. You ready for the tour, guys? Yep. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Spot on. Right, hello. <laughs> this is Matthew of the barber shop. Yep. Well, I've had a bit of aggro on the YouTube columns about me, me barn, me hair. <laughs> so, can I come here, get a haircut, maybe get somebody special along to cut it for me? Yes. Or help? Okay. Perfect. Okay. Thank you very much. We will Thank see you, you in a Thank few you. days. Yes. What are you doing now? 145. 145. <laughs> Holy moly. <laughs> Oh, bar, 195 was it Matt? And it stuck <laughs> on there like, a, like glue. It's happening in the race, 136k to go. Good. Gaps 200, uh, 2 minutes 30. Got here with plenty of time today lads. South the press is miles away. Squeaky brakes. <laughs> I'm jealous of you having a bike there, that's for sure. I'll lend you it, mate, don't you worry, we'll share it. You can right have now it. The, or? You can have it the rainy days, I'll have it the dry days, yeah? Sure. Nah, we'll be good. Can we have a review of the first buffet of the tour? It's a buffet, a press buffet is a bit of a lottery of the tour. You either get an awesome spread or nothing at all and today it looks like we've got uh, beer and waffles. So it's a good mix. How's the waffle? It's a cheap, <laughs> generic supermarket thing. I'm very disappointed in you, Liege. Very. I'll eat it still. We've just had the crash with what, 30k to go, the slippy slidey one. And what's it like in here and stuff like that goes down? There's always a moment where there's a kind of hush goes over the uh, over the room and everyone starts paying attention, looks up from what they're doing, pays attention to what's happening in the race and yeah, Froome seems to have been caught up in the crash so he's chasing back over the moment. I'm not sure if push is the word, it's usually... <laughs> Favorable aux échappés parce que euh, y a, y a, on a eu du vent face au 
he's getting his face to He won't stop there. Oh, he's like... oh, this is nice. Bit of late afternoon sunshine in Liège. Bit of a bike ride. Nice views. This is great. You got dog shit on it. What? <laughs> you have? So Dave, where are you sleeping tonight? Chaise lounge. <laughs> Not enough beds. The Airbnb here in Liège. We should really name him Shane, shouldn't we? He's lied. But that's alright, because Matt and Shane are sharing bed together. Uh, what? <laughs> WTF? No. Okay, I'm sleeping in the car. See you later, guys. And this is how we do staircases in Belgium. You might as well have a ladder. <laughs> and we stayed uh, in Belgium, the Netherlands, and the classics, and man, you took your life into your hands every time you went upstairs. Oh, it was. Like steel staircase, wouldn't it be a massive sharp edge? Oh, oh yeah, well, there was no really. banister and there was a huge drop, like so, and there was like really narrow one. We were coming down like the stairs. So we put ourselves in jeopardy to bring you all the cycling gossip. Yeah. Yeah. No, I used to live in a house in Belgium, in Ghent, on a farm, and it had stairs like this. And the year prior to me, they managed to get a donkey up the stairs. <laughs> this is a truth or oh, horse, but they couldn't get it down. Because I can't not the leg, knees don't bend. So what happened? I don't know. So these are the days I'm glad I brought a sleeping bag with me. Sheet stains. Yes. Based on the show, <laughs> we have the best hookers here for you. Look at the evidence on the sheets. Uh. <laughs>